Hello everyone and welcome back to Parkasaurus where I finally have somebody standing at a presentation station. I have science happening and I am so proud. Oh, hello sir. I am so proud because that is truly one of my life goals is to spread information about the natural world throughout the world and to do so through the form of video games which is why I'm literally a pixel biologist so all of this tickles my fancy basically. But uh, I want to be a very good pixel biologist so hopefully today we will not have a grand escape and Pandora with her adorable googly eyes will oh my gosh Orson you rolled on your back and then you had a little poo um well that wasn't how I planned on you like acting today but I guess we just have to cope with what we've got hopefully they will not be breaking out they did break out last time I'm a little worried maybe I had some lawsuits and people were a little bit unhappy it looks like the herd is coming together and I am trying to make them happier. Social looks great, so there's enough of them, but they're really bored. They wanna have more things to play with. They still feel like there's a lot of privacy violations from all the people coming. I guess we didn't have like an upgrade to give them. We just had the privacy of our animals default to being a lot higher after we achieved one of their special heart upgrades and we are trying to get to the dino friends upgrade so that we can put in the flat rock shelter so they have somewhere to be out of sight quite literally from all of the the guests who are in the park but in order to do that we need to have more dinosaur hearts and in order to have more dinosaur hearts i think it's time my friends to have more dinosaurs. So we are gonna actually pop into the egg shop and it looks like if we get an imperfect gym, I can make a Triceratops based off of everything that we have. Uh, we also have, let's see. Oh, I could make, uh, I could maybe, oh no, I need to unlock uncommon gems and then rare gems, but then we could have a Styracosaurus and an Achilleo, Lusaurus. I always mispronounce these. I struggle a lot with pronunciation, so I apologize if I just butchered the name of your favorite dinosaur. But we will let's 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 make a couple tri triceratops. I think that we can have a couple triceratops and add them into our one, two, and add them into our uh, wonderful park. So let's come over here with the eggs and chicken. Are you ready, my dear? I need you to help me out by laying a couple Triceratops eggs. I know it's asking a lot of you, but you know, if a Kiwi can do it, so can you. Oh, look, it's a little uh, purple egg. That is so cute. There we go. So we now have two Triceratops eggs hanging out inside of our inventory. I do think we need to go into town and maybe like add a couple more plants to our daily delivery and get just a few more plants just in case um, to take care of our animals. So yeah, we've got a lot of plants. And I was also wondering, when it comes to the portal, can I sell these footprints? Like, I feel like it'd be interesting if you could sell all of the extra pieces that you get from the digs because that could, yeah, we did need more food. My plants just, whoa, my plants are really disappearing. Um, Growing Stegosaurus need some food so let's go ahead and stack up on the food because they are chewing through that pandora orson where's oh baby hazel oh my gosh they're just so cute and we will get more people coming and visiting us if we have more animals in this zoo too so let's go ahead and get maybe a, a fun triceratops corner set up over here i'm gonna go ahead and remove I wonder if you take away the water next to plants that need water, if you end up uh, with dead trees. Oh, look at these nasty oil drums. I don't want these here. We're gonna get rid of those. All right, there we go. Oh, and it looks like it's about to rain. Okay, so, oh, and a concrete fence gives no visibility, but I wonder if it gives them a sense of privacy? Like, does that work? Let's, we're gonna put down a small concrete fence over here. And we're gonna see if that helps them out, like if they go behind it. And we're just gonna see what happens. All right, and then over here, we'll have a path coming this way. And let's make a fun, let's make like a, like we don't have to make just a boxy shape. We can have a cool, weird shaped Triceratops exhibit. 
and maybe put some shops on the other side later. And here we go. So what do we need for a Triceratops exhibit? My guess is grass. So let's get some grass down. And now that tree is complaining about not having any water. I don't know about that. And then we'll go ahead and get a little bit of water down next to it then. There. Yeah, that's really cool. I think that's interesting how the trees need water as well. Let's put a gate over there. And then let's put down our two Triceratops eggs. One egg there. And then one egg here. Hi, you two! And they need a rainforest biome, so we need to hurry and get more water added in here. Uh, there we go. So we're in forest, and now we can come down to terrain. You can do deep water if you wanted to do deep water. And we need to turn this- whoa, that's not what I wanted! I didn't want water that deep. I think it takes a second to like balance out. There we go, okay. Is that how you make water? Okay, and oh yay, now we're up in the rainforest level. Okay, so we have reached rainforest level. We need the biodiversity. I love that you have the biodiversity tools in there. That is just so fun. I want a gigantic oak tree. Like, boom. Let's give these guys a couple giants. There we go. And then let's get some smaller. Let's get for our triceratops. There's these cute little bushes we can line up at some of the edges. Maybe to help out with a little bit of privacy. And then there's a bunch of rocks. Let's put down some cool granite rocks for them. There we go. Which interestingly enough affects biodiversity. Whoa, and here we go. We've got some money. We are paying more to our employees now, uh, but it's still less than we're earning. We have three hearts gained. We'll have more hearts when we have more dinos. And check this out, our talking scientist. <gasps> Holy cow, she is good at her job. She made so much science research. I am amazed at that. That makes me really happy, actually. Thumbs up for baby Hazel. So people like the cleanliness. And it looks like baby Hazel is, yeah, the food was amazing. Uh, I'm going to, I named my first child after Hazel, so excited. Oh my gosh. All right, good. So it looks like everybody enjoys our food options, which I think still are only like cotton candy. <laughs> and they like our baby dinos. Uh, Pandora is getting closer to a level up, I think. And I don't know what that does, but it'll be interesting to see. And, oh, we can name our exhibit. So I probably want to name our exhibit for our different dinos. There's a lot going on. I think we're working, uh, security person is now level two. Oh, so you can indeed have your staff level up, possibly the longer they are with you. So that's, that's a pretty nifty twist. I like that. All right. So we have, and yeah, here's where you can name them. So we can name this like trikes. This is going to be the Triceratops exhibit. I don't think it's big enough. Oh, it's really not big enough. I misjudged that immensely. We're going to make it much bigger. You guys ready for this? All right. We're going to come all the way. Yeah, all the way back here. All the way down here. We've got to go pick up our delivery. And I'm going to come in and let's see, destroy all this fencing. Rawr! I feel like Pandora. I'm going to destroy a fence. All right. Boom. All right. And we have a delivery, so I need to get that that fresh greens for our animals. And I need to put down the terrain. Eventually, I'll start remembering where everything is. All right. Let's get some terrain down before the Triceratops are ready to go. There. Nice. Nice. And now we need to make sure that this is going to be rainforest. I love that so much. I just really do. And I like making little patches of water to make it a rainforest. Look at that. And then the color changes like immediately. How cool. All right. Oh, and seeing the taiga, that reminds me. I need to see what happened for all of the Minecraft news. Maybe I'll do like a reaction video to that tomorrow because it's going to be some big news, guys. All right, there's a nice tree there. Nice tree there. Wow, the bigger you make the exhibits, the, oh, and we can have little apple trees. Let's have some little apple trees scattered into you. There we go. See, we've got some nice, oh, and that's a big apple tree. Let's put a big apple tree back here. This is nice. It makes me think that I really need to redo our other exhibit 
because I want I want them to have a good time. All right, and how many do we need for biodiversity? Okay, let's see. I want more plants. <laughs> I want more plants, and for that we need to access more science. And I really love our new chatty scientist. Isn't it interesting? She gets us more science points from yammering on with the people who come to see our uh come to see our park than the scientist who's actually like in there reading research papers. And I think that's interesting because science outreach is really important. Oh, but now I could ramble on about my favorite subject, which is the sciences and how to talk to people about science uh, in case you guys didn't know, you know, like I'm talking right now. <laughs> oh dear. All right. I'm having too much fun. Oh, that's never a bad thing, but still. All right. We put down a bunch of little rocks. I'm going to put down one pokey rock because they're going to have some pokies on top of their heads. Uh, and then I'm going to put down just like one little patch of water right here, like a little pond so that the plants are happy. All my plants happy? All the plants are happy. All right. And the Triceratops are ready to hatch, guys. But let's make sure there is plenty of room right over here so that people can come and see this new exhibit. This is actually a perfect little place to possibly set up like another talky scientist area. Uh, I'm actually going to have the path come all the way over here. We're going to actually come in, move that out of the way. Oh, you can put the path under the fencing. I actually really like the way that looks a lot. So you know what? I think I'm going to actually come through and do that on all of my fencing because I didn't realize that was something you could do, but it looks really nice. That or the grass. Ooh, the grass looks nice too. Ah, oh, thank goodness that was just one coin. So if I want to change my mind on that. Oh, and you can change the size of the path. <laughs> I can't believe I've been doing it three by three just because I thought that was the automatic default this whole time. Oh my gosh. All right, and anything else? Oh, we need to put in a vegetable feeder. Oh, thank goodness. I almost really messed up on that. All right, and let's do this. Oh, they're so cute. The first thing they're so happy to be in a herd together. Oh, you guys. Oh, I love them. Look, look at them. Oh, I can hear people cheering. Everyone's excited. There's a log in the middle of my path. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I'm just gonna put the stump in there as decoration. Uh, it's a very excellent health, health excellent on my, on my stump. <laughs> I'm glad. I guess that's if it's destroyed or not. Not like the stump is still uh, alive. This man is inside of my garbage bin. Are you okay, sir? Have you been Have you been watching way too much of my donut county? Like, let's play just out of curiosity. Which ended tonight. I'm gonna miss that game so much. It truly is one of my absolute favorite games. All right, let's put down a few daffodils. Uh, you know, okay, yeah, we'll put down a few daffodils. It seems our triceratops are super happy because there's two of them. And I actually need to pull up my name list. Let me see, where is my name list? Because my patrons have come through in droves. We have tons of names. If I can just find the list, there we go. All right, and you know what? I think that over here, this little, let's see if it's a boy or a girl because I think eventually you can breed them. This is Percival, so I believe he could be a boy, and I think he needs a bigger herd. <gasps> we'll have to make some more Triceratops right away, but we're going to actually name him Flint. So there we go. We've got the name Flint for him, and this is- oh, they're both boys! Flint and Dom! All right, Flint and Dom, welcome! And thank you so much to my patron Lily, who came up with those names. I have a big list, don't worry, all everyone else who provided names. We're going to have a lot more dinos, uh, and actually... In town, there we go. Speaking of more dinos, let's just go ahead and get those Triceratops eggs right now. Because we already have them from going out and about. And I think I can feed all of them. I have a lot of plants. So let's get a couple more Triceratops down here. Because the more dinosaurs we have, the faster we can get the hearts. And the faster we can get the hearts, the sooner we can start unlocking all of these things. I love this. I hope that because of how easy this flow tree is to like go through and to click on things. <gasps> Sauropodia! I want sauropods so bad. They are my favorite type of dinosaur. You guys know that by now. Oh my gosh, I love the sauropods. 
But I hope because this is early access alpha version, like very early alpha version, I'm really excited and hoping that as time goes on, there might be special updates. Uh, I don't know if people like the, the devs would want to do it for holidays or seasons or just their own special events, but it would be so fun to have new decorations to unlock uh, over time. Not sure if that's something they're into, but look how much science I have. <gasps> and I haven't even really done anything. Smart water poured on the ground. Uh, and I haven't even done anything with my employee building yet, but we have a lot of science. We have the science learning presentation now. And we can actually... A research university? What? That is so cool! And the horticulture profession where I could have potted flowers! <gasps> And the rare gem, which would allow us to actually uh, unlock different dinosaurs. Also a billboard, which I think is not available just yet. We'll have to look. Uh, ice cream fun day. There's actually a banana stand, which I kind of want. No joke. I, I actually kind of want the banana stand. We can also get a falafel. Increased desire for funnel cakes. What? I don't have funnel cakes. Oh, there's the uncommon gem. Let's unlock that so we can get new dinosaurs for sure. We can get, oh, recycle bin. You guys, I have to do it. It's very important to recycle. I know that seems like it was a waste. Uh, can I, yeah, we're gonna upgrade it, but it is so important to do recycling. I do not regret that. Plus the upgrade was called Captain Planet and I kind of lived for that show as a child. And we gained some hearts. Oh, I forgot to check. I really love checking to see what people say. Oh, and it's summer now. Oh. I really love checking to see what people say about my my place every day. So I'm gonna have to go back and check that. All right, let's actually make a little path over here. It seems like my triceratops are slightly irritated and attempting to break loose. Thankfully, they have some new siblings on the way and we actually should send off, whoops, the delivery's here. Ah, I sent them to Stegosauria instead. I was gonna say we should send off our expedition team because if they're only at 30% right now, they probably need a lot, like two, two, maybe, I'm not sure, maybe two members will be enough, but we need to add more so that our two new Triceratops boys will be happy. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm loving this. This is so cute. The art style is so cute. It's so easy to set up the decorations and like merge them. It feels like playing with my Sims game. Uh, when I'm using move objects on and it unleashes the ability to truly make things fantastic. Hello, Tom, look at you. Like when you use, it feels like using move objects on in The Sims 4 with being able to make things that shiny, if that makes sense. Any of you Simmers out there, uh oh, those are some angry googly eyes. Any of you Simmers out there will probably get the reference. That man wants to hug my Triceratops. <gasps> That sounds like a great idea. Cuddling baby Triceratops. If they give you a concussion, it's not my fault. <laughs> but all right, guys, we've got more babies on the way and a lot more to do. I'm loving this. I hope you guys are too. And don't worry if you are waiting patiently. Uh-oh. Uh uh oh, am I stuck in it? There we go. If you're waiting patiently for Jurassic World Evolution, it'll be coming back. I just want to spend a little bit more time with this adorable new game. And I- Oh, somebody's sitting in my gazebo! Oh, this is so exciting. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye